Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video. Much like you, we've been kind of keeping around the house, had a lot of projects going around the house with all the COVID in force. Fortunately, I'm still lucky to be uh, working with my regular job. And uh, so don't take that lightly. I've been actually working on some video projects for uh, my work as well. But today is pretty exciting. We're, uh, this weekend actually is gonna be Memorial Weekend and we're actually gonna do a paddle. So there's about eight or 10 of us that are gonna do a paddle and I'm not sure which river yet, but that means that I've gotta get some of my kayaks in order. So my wife's been out, we pulled them out today and she's been doing the power washing thing. At the end of the last season, I developed a quite a hole in my kayak and actually today I went out and I turned it over, I elevated it up, I put a little bit of water in the bottom and then checked for leaks and I have two leaks, one of them pretty significant. So today what we're gonna do is I figured while I'm repairing this leak, it'd be a great topic for a video. So I'm just gonna show you kind of a, and this can be an emergency uh, leak repair as well. You may remember in what I take kayaking video, one of the things I mentioned is I have one bag that's dedicated to a repair kit. And so what I have is actually a piece of plastic that um, when I changed out something in the, the hole, I retain the plastic. So uh, if I ever need to make a repair, I can do that. I've also got some uh, plastic bonding material. So in a pinch that will work. It's just two part epoxy. And then of course we've got the, uh, the Gorilla Tape as well. But today what we're gonna do is we're gonna make, uh, it's not so much of an emergency repair. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of plastic that actually came off this boat. We're gonna sand this down. The hole is actually in the scupper, which makes it a little even more difficult uh, for that to get a bond. I'm gonna grind that down with a little bit of a sander on my drill. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, heat this piece of plastic up, heat the boat up and then apply that down and see if we can't get those welded together. So hopefully we can get enough adhesion between those to make it uh, stay uh, again on that kind of on the corner of where that scupper is makes it really difficult. And unfortunately that's the way I've got it on both of these scuppers. I've got one in the front, one in the back. I repaired the one last year and it actually went pretty well. Um, I, it, it had a small drip in it. I don't think it was significant, but I went ahead while I'm doing this, I went ahead and, uh, and scraped that off and I'm gonna redo that repair as well. So. Rather than buying a new kayak, which I've been looking at doing, um, I decided that right now I'm just gonna stick with this kayak. It does a, a great job. And uh, we're gonna do a welding repair. So stay with me and we'll get started right away. All right, for this, I am gonna wear my reading glasses. So forgive me for that. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna use, uh, I've got my skeletal here and I'm just gonna use a pair of pliers to hold that. And then I'm gonna take our flamethrower, we'll light it. So it looks like it's gonna hold. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of heat this up as I go, and I don't wanna burn all the way through it, but I do wanna get it heated up till it's kind of slick. I'll try to do this so that you can see it. So that the, that plastic is kind of slick, and then I'm gonna do the same thing right here. And about 450 degrees is the temperature you want that. And you want this really pliable. So I'm just gonna take that heat, just work on getting that plastic hot. I really don't want to catch it on fire, but I just want it to be pretty pliable. Don't want to breathe in those fumes. I try to take it out of the flame a little bit. So we're just heating it up. You can also, if you don't have plastic from your actual boat, uh, you can actually use, it's the same plastic that you would use on a uh, five on a five gallon plastic bucket. So if you went to Home Depot or Lowe's, you can kind of cut you a strip out of that. I think this is a little bit thicker, but it's the same, uh, same type of plastic. Right, so we're gonna keep heating both sides. I wanna kind of keep that one heated up without catching on fire. Again, I want to make sure that I'm not. All right, so you can see we've got that. I'm going to kill this for now. I'm going to 
spread that out with my glove here. See, the biggest problem is hearing that, so I'm going to continue to heat this one. Being really careful not to burn another hole in my boat. Just heat that part up so that I can get it to lay down and fold over. I'm going to go ahead and take my grinder and kind of grind that down a little bit and then I may adhere it again but that just gives you an idea of what we're trying to accomplish here um, with that um, again I can, that's kind of sticking up a little more than what I want it to but I think what I can do is, is just uh, clip that off heat it back up and maybe even put another layer on it and then I'll probably go ahead and put the two-part epoxy on top of that and just have an extra seal we will be kayaking this weekend so I'll let you know if it works if uh, you find me at the bottom of the river well, no, it didn't. So that pretty much wraps up. Uh, just want to do it real quick to show you how we're doing this. We are going kayaking and camping this weekend, so be sure to join us uh, for that. Uh, hopefully I'll have the video posted and uploaded next week. So there's, again, a group of about 10 of us that are going out this weekend. We're really excited about that. So be sure to join us. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. I am going to make an effort to get more videos out more frequently and try to do about one a week. So again, appreciate you joining me and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.